Ukraine's army and anti-government militias successfully completed yet another prisoner swap late on Sunday just outside Donetsk. The exchange, however, was uneven. 30 Ukrainian army soldiers and pro-Kiev volunteers were exchanged for 60 Donetsk fighters. Meanwhile, people in the rest of Donetsk and Lugansk regions have been trying to rebuild their lives from the ruins left by the war. Maria Fenoshina was able to speak to some of them. The village of Hryshevate has suffered more destruction than almost anywhere else in the Lugansk region. Traces of violence are everywhere. Locals now call it the dead village. But there is still life here. Raisa hid in her basement for many days after the Ukrainian army entered the village. Now, it is the only part of her home left intact. The abandoned and burnt military vehicles belonged to Ukrainian troops and anti-government forces. This was a battleground where the two sides met. Hryshevate saw fierce clashes between the anti-government forces and Kiev soldiers. Today, half of the village looks like this. It's just five kilometers from the city of Lugansk, and this is the closest point where the Ukrainian military managed to reach days before the ceasefire. Ukraine's army was surrounded and forced to retreat, locals say. But they certainly left their mark on the place. We talked to Yelena in what used to be her warm and cozy family home. There is no gas or electricity in the village, and winter is approaching. People cook on open fires and freeze at night, but they still believe the worst is behind them. Страха, что просидели вот 17 дней и суток вот в этом подвале. Тут все разбивали, что могли. Со всех сторон на нас летели пули. Непонятно, кто наши, чужие или украинцы. Ну, в общем, пострадали мы хорошо. Another thing many other towns and villages all across war-torn eastern Ukraine are living without is running water. But again, locals don't consider it a major thing compared to what they've already lived through. The emotions are overwhelming, but still these people, mostly elderly, many sick, others with no family or mourning relatives killed, show surprising strength and a powerful spirit. But if the war comes back, they have doubts they'll have the will to survive again. Marifnoshnati, Hrishivata village, Lugansk region, eastern Ukraine.